Our today's topic is Redophytes and in this class we will be discussing about the telome theory. Telome theory was proposed by Walter Zimmerman in 1930s. Telome theory has been widely accepted for over 70 years as the leading explanation for uh, evolutionary innovation. According to telome theory, all vascular plants evolved either directly or indirectly from a simple leafless rhinia type ingestral form made up of sterile and fertile axis, the telomes. You can see here, this is rhinia. Rhinia is a fossil tridophyte having sterile telome and fertile telome. Sterile telome means telome without suprangia and fertile telome having suprangia at the tip. Evolutionary modification of its parts produce more advanced vascular plants with roots, stem leaves, uh, protected suprangia and more complex vascular system. Zimmerman defines the telome as the single nerved extreme portion at base or apex of the plant body from the tip to the next point of branching. Two types of telomes have been recognized on the basis of their function. First is vegetative or sterile telome, telomes without suprangia, also called phylloid, and second one is fertile telomes, means telomes bear terminal suprangia. Telome grow and divides dichotomously. I can see here dichotomous uh, branching. The new segments become new telomes and the older segment below are mesosomes. I can see here uh, these are telomes and the older one is called mesomes. Telomes may be grouped together in various ways to form more complex bodies, telome truss or syntelome. There are of two types, phylloid truss, only sterile telomes and fertile truss, only fertile telomes. Next is origin of telomes and uh, primitive land plants. According to the telome theory, the early land plants originated from the green algae which lived in tidal zone of the Cambrian and the Silurian sea coast. Plant body of these algal ingesters uh, was undifferentiated, uh, branched thallus, means primitive telome. According to Zimmerman, these primitive telomes were formed from the unicellular stage uh, uh, by the uh, five different uh, elementary processes. First is interconnection of cells, second is differentiation of meristem, then rotation of cell axis, uh, fourth is shifting of cheap phases in alternation of generation, and fifth one is differentiation of various permanent tissues. Now process of telome theory. Its first step is overtopping. In overtopping, one of the two dichotomizing branches becomes stronger and erect. I can see here, this diagram shows overtopping process. One of the two dichotomizing branches becomes stronger, I can see here, this and erect becoming the axis while other remained overtopped as a short lateral branch. It leads to the formation of an axis with lateral appendages like leaves, uh, uh, for example, open veined pinnately compound type of one leaf. Overtopping mesomes form the rachis and the overtopped mesomes constitute the leaf uh, sorry, leaflets. Second process is planation. Planation means rearrangement of telomes and mesomes form a three-dimensional pattern to a single plane. I can see here this diagram showing planation process. Branching in more than one plane uh, is replaced by a dichotomy in a 
single plane you can see here fan shaped uh, dichotomy by this process an organ of radial symmetry give rise gives rise to one of the bilateral symmetry then transition concerns mainly the evolution of the leaf third is uh, syngenesis means fusion or webbing fusion of the telom or telom trusses uh, by the development of uh, connecting tissues as uh, similarly as in the foot of the duck i can see here this is webbing fusion or webbing process called syngenesis telomes and mesomes connect by the formation of parenchymatous tissues these are parenchymatous tissues between uh, them means parenchymatous webbing sometimes accompanied by the fusion of their steel also uh, syngenesis is a very important elementary process because it explains the origin and evolution of both the leaf and the steel of the stem it leads to the formation of foliar appendages with open dicotomous venation then in this case the sterile telomes means phylloids become united only by the development of parenchymatous webbing second is pinnately veined leaf means formation of pinnately veined uh, leaf means parenchymatous webbing was accompanied by overtopping leaf then next is leaf with reticulate venation if a fusion of steel or vascular bundle also occurred then parenchymatous uh, webbing means uh, led to the polysteric condition in an open form a uh, means as in many species of the sluginella next step is reduction activity of terminal meristem of each telom suppressed resulting into much shorter branches as you can see here this diagram showing reduction process it uh, involved the transformation of thin telom into single needle like leaf as you can see here single needle like leaf means um, uh, like in conifers according to zimmerman the microphyllous leaves of lycopsida and sphenopsida were evolved by reduction of telom process next step is curvation the fertile telom in curvation the fertile telomes become curved or bent downward i can see here this diagram showing curvation wilson in 1953 recognized two separate sub processes recurvation then incurvation recurvation when telomes bend down inward it is also called recurvation this is called curvation recurvation sorry during this process the fertile telomes uh, uh, were um, reflexed and superangia became inverted then incurvation in this process I mean this process accounts for the shifting of superangia from terminal position to the ventral surface of the leaf in the ferns uh, next is merits and demerits of telom theory in merits this theory describes the origin and evolution of sporophyte of land plants then structure of the sporophytes of the most primitive known plants is defined uh, with the help of telom theory it explains how organs with bilateral symmetry evolved from the organ with radial symmetry then it connects the living and the fossil plants demerits of telom theory uh, include means there is limited evidence for the process of webbing uh, which is the fusion of uh, um, uh, planted branches with photosynthetic mesophyll tissues it does not provide an acceptable origin of all leafy structures then it doesn't explain the derivation of uh, um, dictyostelic condition then telom theory does not explain the world or spiral arrangement of superangia thank you